Welcome back to Amorth West. Our next guest is here to prove a vegan charcuterie board can be just as beautiful and delicious as one loaded with meat and cheese. Here to share how it's done, please welcome back our vegan national treasure, <laughs> Chef Amy Webster. Hi, Great Helen. to see you. <laughs> Yay. Okay, so let's take a look at this charcuterie board. It is stunning. Thank you. It really is. Yes. It oh, looks it's so good. fun to put together, especially yeah. this time of year, right? It's yes. just you can add anything you want. It's just kind of a world of flavor and however you want. Yes. So we're making uh, this is the cheese ball. Yes, right? it is. It's so that's the star what we're making. Of the show. Okay. Yeah. You tell me what to do. Do you want okay. me to do it? Yes. Okay. okay. So we're going to start with um, the cashews. This is a cashew-based cheese. Okay. And um, I I just soak them. Um, overnight or if you don't have time like I mostly don't have time you just hard boil them for about 15 minutes oh, and it smart. makes them soft so then okay. they'll get, you'll get that kind of silkiness so we're okay. just gonna add now we've got the base that's the cashews and then the flavor okay so let's add some nutritional yeast all right gotta do that which is yes essential for a vegan chef of right. course any vegan kitchen right <laughs> no, I get um, and then some lemon juice and what holds it kind of together is the coconut oil oh so that's this right here this right coconut here oil yeah okay. yeah so it's melted. Now, you know what happens to coconut oil when it gets cold. So once yeah, it's it hardens. in the, right. Well, so once we put this mixture all together in the refrigerator, then yes, it gets really nice okay, and hard. Okay, and then what so, is this? So that is a Dijon mustard. This oh, yeah, yeah. This is a yeah. Dijon maple cheese ball. So we've got the Dijon, Dijon mustard. Dijon maple cheese ball, okay. And so you can use regular maple syrup or what I did is get the Woodenville uh, Bourbon Company has a good ma idea maple syrup, right? Good idea. Yes. So the, this, the flavor profile of this cheese mm -hmm. is half Dijon and half maple syrup, and this it's the same amount. So you really taste both. What surprises most people about this is that oh, it's sweeter than I think. You know, you think yeah. that cheese is going to be more more savory, right? But this is the base, and then we're going to blend it up, and so. Okay. This is not the kind of cheese that has to get um, cultured. I don't add any probiotics to this one. I do with my almond cheese, which is um, the roll uh, oh, to the right. One yes, that one is. Um, oh, and almond. so I actually add a, you know, a probiotic to it. Oh, you do? Yeah, and okay. I let it culture for like 24 hours. Yeah. Okay, that's so, this one here. Yes. And the other one. Oh, wait, you got it. Sorry. <laughs> no, that's all right. We just grind this up really good. You gotta get a high, high speed blender. Right. Okay. So once that is nice and smooth, I right. just I keep stopping. I scrape down the sides. You know, right. it's a little bit of work, but it's so worth yeah. it. Yeah. But while while we're talking, yes, so what please. is this one that looks kind of like a sausage? Oh, that is a vegan salami. So that's my seitan salami, and seitan is usually just means that we're using a vital wheat gluten. Oh. So it is full of protein because it is the part of the oh. wheat plant. That okay, is gotcha. Full of gluten. Yes. All right. So once we get this mix mixture done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna shape it. Okay. So this is just a regular cheesecloth. I can it. use a nut bag, you know, those kinds of things. Right. So what I normally do, this is just one that's already been kind of... A nut bag? Yes, you know, uh, nut milk, sorry. I mil missed the okay. word milk in okay. there. Okay. So once we get this, I kind of shove this down in there. And then it's going to take the shape of whatever. So I'm just using a regular bowl ooh, because yeah. I want it to be. Oh, I see like the shape. A, yeah. The, yeah, I got it. And if, it has, if your bowl has like a groove, like I have a bowl at home that I really love that has like a groove in the bottom. It doesn't matter because it's soft enough, you can kind of mold it, but you're going to put the pecans on top. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. So I just kind of mold this in. And then, so this is just a cheesecloth. And then I like to, I'll put like a cover over it if you've got, you know, foil or something, or if this was a, you know, had a lid. My other one sure. has a lid. Um, and then I put this in the fridge for at least four hours. Yeah. Okay. Okay. By the way, isn't your anniversary coming up? <laughs> By the way, it yes. is. Yay. Yes, it's on Monday, 13 years. That's so yes. great. You and Randy. Yes, thank you. Happy anniversary. <laughs> Oh, so you. Do you, oh, I'm open. And then um, once it's open, then you take the um, pecans or whatever kind of nuts that you want on the outside. Yeah. And I just kind of, um, you know, put them on and kind of it's sticky enough that I can get it to stick on the outside. Okay. Like you see there. That's the end result. Yeah. And oh, then wow. it's a soft cheese and it's super easy. You don't have to, you know, wait forever. It does. It's nice to have it, you know, four to six hours in a right. refrigerator. But. You know, the plant-based cheeses are so good because, you know, as we know, animal agriculture is really, really bad for the environment. Right. It is um, bad, you know, dairy is not good for our own bodies. And of course, we can't not mention the animals. It's not good right. for the animals. So sure. this is a great, great alternative to that. And there are so many companies. So if you don't want to make your own like this, like you can, I- You can buy yes, them. Yes, you can buy them. Um, locally here in Portland, Vitopian cheese. So Vitopian has this great array of different flavors. So we've got on, on our board today, we've got their white um, 
aged cheddar. Yeah. I love and this. there is this is a brie that I also brought with me. Um, but they're right here, you know, locally in Portland. They make their cheeses here. And um, let's see, the one you're tasting now is the is this. Yeah. yeah. Can you taste the maple? It's good. Is you like it? Oh wait, when did you put the maple in? Did you put it in, in there? Sorry. Yes, I yeah. did. I did when we were talking about the bourbon. Oh, uh, oh see, I yeah. was so busy. <laughs> Yes, because this one I, I did I used the bourbon, um, but you can use regular maple. Yeah, you know, it doesn't have to that's be really adult tasty. version. Yes. Yeah, that's yeah, really thank tasty. Thank you. Yeah. It's different because you know the maple and the Dijon kind of complement each other, yeah. but they offset. Um, and then that one is one the is Vitopian a... Brie, which is the company here in Portland. Wow. Yeah, I would love to know. So their cheeses are also cashew based, full of protein, coconut oil, helps kind of hold it together. That's really good. It's good, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, and then I did put a piece of the, the vegan salami there if you wanted to try that. Sure. I mean, that's... Um, you know me. Yeah. <laughs> I'll try it. Yeah, I love that you'll just try anything. So I made that. It's it's homemade, so it's got... That's you, good, too. You can make a nice, you know, uh, seitan, and then the flavors are really what... So I wanted it to be like a salami flavor. It's got You know, good that spices. is a salami flavor. Yeah? yeah, good. Remember I was talking to you about Impossible Burger? Yes. It's so good. Yeah, like I know we're really, really doing incredible this things a, today. This is good, too. Yeah, thank yeah. you. I love it. I love that you just compared it to Impossible. Yeah. I'm just, you know, doing it in my, in my kitchen. So yeah, it's so great. <laughs> okay, so... When you put together your board, yeah. what are your thoughts? When well, you do I want, you know, you got to start with the bases, a couple cheeses, at least a couple, but mm -hmm. I, I like to get the cheese is like my star. I know some people want to fill it up more with meats, but it has mm -hmm. to have a salami. So I, you can buy those also vegan salamis, but I make my own. And then I just fill the rest with whatever. I, if I want olives, I want some fruit. I like having apples. I love apples with, this, with these cheeses, apple slices. Yeah. Um, you know, and I live in Washington, so you know they're you local gotta have apples. apples. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then the grapes are good, you know, color and sweetness. Um, then the greenery, and yeah. that's my rose, rose made for my from my own garden. I so. love and it. Holly from my Look garden. Look at you. Yeah. So what are you doing for your anniversary? <laughs> oh, we're going to Hood River. Fun. Yes. And you're taking Freya. Yes, your Freya. dog too. Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. We, we love because Freya. it's also her adopt anniversary. Happened to be oh, on the same day as our baby. anniversary. I know, look at her. How do you, uh, you know, I can't keep track of reg. Oh, look at that. Oh. This is Manny and Freya. Oh, Freya, Freya, honey. Freya's like, oh. She's a little shy. All these people, all this noise. She's such a good girl. Yeah, she really yeah, is. She's she beautiful. Is. <laughs> There's that doggy home, oh, boys. Her face. I love it. Yeah, I, I love it. So we're going to put the recipe on our website okay. at ku.com. Wonderful. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, Helen. Happy anniversary. Thank you so much. Happy two anniversaries. Yes. Right, we'll be right back with more AM Northwest. Don't go away. Yeah. Thank you.